Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching this from. I hope you all are doing great from your respective classes. Thank you so much for your love, your support, and for always tuning in. Hoping to see you guys again and again and again. And if you are new here, kindly don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our family, which is Sussex Squadra. We've been just running stories about the entire monarchy, where it's happening and what's not, and the fact that the UK media is so much invested into Harry and Meghan's life and even forgetting that they have their own crisis that's taking place back in the monarchy to deal with. And somebody by the name Petronilla Wyatt, we all know her, has been writing some unhinged stories for the past six months consistently. And today she had another piece. And I would love to share it with us here. And let's just get to see what Keza had to say. What were her response about what Petronilla had to say. Because Petronilla was like, Princess Kat served William. And in doing so, she served the crown. And my first question, or your first question, might, might be like, how? How has she saved William and how has she saved the crown? Because I'm not even getting it because I bet the crown is still shaking at the moment. The monarchy is still shaking. Or is it because William is the heir to the throne? That's why they are already referring to him as being saved. I don't know. But I'm like, I'm not surprised, you know. Because Kat is that one person who just decided that, you know what, we're going to use you the way we want. And that's one thing that just Megan was never ready for. To play or dance to their tune and just play their mind games. That's one thing she was never ever going to be ready to do. But for Kat, you know, she understands where she comes from. And that up to date, having been married to that institution for over a decade, she has nothing that she has been able to achieve rather than just giving birth to an heir also. That is only one achievement. And that's why she needs to do what she needs to do to keep her there. Bearing in mind, William is out and about with this whole story or accusation of having an affair with Rose Hanbury. Kat ain't leaving because she understands once she decides she's leaving, everything of hers comes to a standstill. Because her getting involved into that marriage it has just given her this whole thing. It came, it came about with lots of privileges that she's not ready at any particular point to lose. I hope uh, you understanding what I'm basically saying. Let's just go through the Kaiser article and let's see what Kaiser had to say. Royalist commentator Petronilla has been writing some particularly unhinged column over the past six months. Then three weeks ago, Wyatt wrote about being checked into a mental health unit because her depression meds weren't working. I have sympathy for anyone going through all of that, but it continues to be strange that in her darkest hours, she's still so focused on seeking about the Duchess of Sussex, especially in comparison to the Princess of Wales. Megan also felt suicidal because of the torment and abuse she suffered from the British media and people like Petronilla. But Petronilla has no sympathy for Meg. Not when Meg can be used to prop up Kat from Petronilla's telegraph column. These are people who made Duchess Megan's life uncomfortable, feel very much uneasy. To that point where by Duchess Megan was suicidal. Such people contributed so much to that. But they saw that as a flex. Because at the end of the day, I bet they're being funded to do so. Just wanting to make somebody's life miserable. Is one thing that they enjoy so much. We saw it happen in real time as Meg's entrance into the royal fold changed the narrative about Kat. Racist and a royalist who had previously been embattled about Kat suddenly rushed to prop her up, claiming that she was the perfect white duchess compared to Meghan and that her marriage and happiness was so much better 
and more profound compared to Megan. And that cat never put a foot wrong, unlike Megan. Megan escaped the prison that they built for her more than four years ago. And people like Petronilla still don't know how to process it. Anyway, Kat didn't serve the crown, nor did she serve William. When all is said and done, the middle tone fixation of the monarchy will be a huge factor in its undoing. They always want to praise him, paint up, you know, her image, make her look like the queen she wants to. But in Phil's sense, it ain't working. Because basically, people know what is true and what's basically entitled to so much lie. It's very much evident this is a whole made-up story. And it's basically for the sake of them wanting to distract people from the crisis from the mess that the monarchy brought to themselves and how are they ever going to remove themselves from this mess? They know better. They know better. Honestly, because from my own perspective, I'm like, uh, at the moment, William is nowhere to be seen. Unprepared for workload. Not ready to step up for, you know, this whole crisis thing. You know, the bad thing is the fact that Charles was out during Easter, as much as he's still undergoing chemotherapy. William was nowhere to be seen. Somebody in his full senses, health-wise very much okay, was nowhere to be seen. And that's somebody who's the heir to the throne. That's somebody who loves PR. What do we call this? Personally, I refer this to as pure madness. You just see people supporting things that they themselves know very well. That's a total, total fail. That's basically a total fail, but they can't come to acceptance that, you know what? They're losing it. Their ones and ones and favorites and doing a thing. That is just beyond imagination. Now there's this whole story that it kind of seems to be true that the video that was released by BBC so much said to be AI. And how are they going to defend that? Just looking at the shoulder, looking at the background, looking at the hair, looking at the lips because I bet once one is talking, there's supposed to be a movement here. Watching at that clip, Cat is at standstill, just the lips moving. Not the body, not the head, not the... You get to see what I'm saying. So I don't know if anything that comes from these whole royal respondents, royal writers and all that. Personally, I've never taken any to be the truth. But, but basically just made up lies and stories. That's what they are. I don't know what's your take. I don't know what's your concern about this. Kindly just let me know your thoughts on the comment section down below. I don't know what's your take. Hoping to see you guys in our next videos.